this is Gilly Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling innovative because today our quote of the day is, the difficult is what takes a little time, the impossible is what takes a little longer, by Fritjof Nansen. The impossible takes a little longer because it requires some out-of-the-box thinking. Out-of-the-box thinking means that you are using all of your creativity and intuition to find solutions to your problems or to create new ideas. Out-of-the-box thinking is different thinking, altering the way in which you interpret information. It is using the brain differently to come up with different conclusions than the norm. It allows you to approach the problem or a situation in a new and innovative way. We normally function with default thought patterns that have a distinct way where we meet our problems. We usually follow the usual line of thinking and produce the same or similar results. But when we want to innovate our life, our work, or anything uh, within our life, then in order to produce different results than we have had up till now, then we need to think in different ways than we have been normally thinking and normally confronting our problems. This means cultivating the ability to look at things uh, from a different point of view than we typically look at things. Thinking out of the box comes naturally to some people, but for most people, it needs a little bit of development and practice. However, all people using out of the box thinking must make the effort to push their thinking beyond its limits and finding a solution beyond what everybody else is doing. It does take some effort. This creativity can help you form your ideal holiday, your new idea, your new network, your new career, and even your new life. When we think inside the box, we are thinking in a way that most people usually think and usually solve their problems. We assume certain things about a given situation and follow these assumptions to form our behavior around them. But what if you put those assumptions aside and made different assumptions that could just as well be true? What if you steered your thinking to new avenues that could also provide viable solutions that you never thought possible? Divorce settlements are an excellent place to use out-of-the-box solutions to ensure the best for your children and for the parents. Thinking differently means being open to uh, new solutions and pushing your thoughts to non-conventional solutions for any situation. When you reject the accepted paradigm and come up with new ideas through creative thinking, you may seem odd to other people, perhaps but you will be true to yourself and true to your life. And when you are true to yourself, you will be happiest and most fulfilled, and so will those around you. Your ideas may seem absolutely wild to some people. Think of Elon Musk and his SpaceX mission of colonizing Mars. But if your ideas seem to be the right path for you and you have the passion and energy to follow through with your ideas, then you will probably reach great heights since most people are not willing to even try to think outside the box. Examining things from a new perspective, through different eyes, so to speak, and through unconventional creative thinking is definitely more complex. It, it, it is a different way, a more complex way of thinking, and it will take much more effort from you. The best way to do this is to examine your situation when either you are walking out in nature without disturbances or you are sitting in solitude or when you are in taking a shower. These times when you are alone and can contemplate in a focused manner on a situation will allow your creativity to take leaps and bounds and you can find different uh, solutions or ideas that will gain an advantage over normative thinking patterns. In this way, you can foster the creativity to tackle very big problems. And the bigger the problems that you tackle, the bigger your impact will be on the world. George Bernard Shaw said that the reasonable man adapts himself to the world and the unreasonable man persists in trying to adapt the world to himself. Therefore, all progress depends on the unreasonable man. <laughs> 
The unreasonable man is one who thinks outside the box and strives to create a better world as they see it in their imagination. If you want to think outside the box and create opportunities for yourself, then you also need to get comfortable with feeling foolish at times. Not everyone will get you, so to speak, but this doesn't matter if you are making progress in the right direction for you. Allowing yourself to feel foolish also helps unlock your fears, which are the main obstacles to stopping and hindering creative thinking. The Road Not Taken is a poem by Robert Frost, and it says, really, it says it best. I took the road less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. So how can you encourage yourself to think outside the box? Well, as I mentioned before, take some time out to contemplate in a place with no distractions from people. Options include taking a warm shower or taking a walk or a run in nature. Also trying to look at the problem or situation through a different perspective from a different angle. How would a child tackle this problem? How would a different person from perhaps a different culture view things differently? You may also ask yourself, what is the truth behind this? And not just an opinion, but the real truth. And then think of what you can take from there. Also, try to think from the end vision backwards to where you are now. How could this backwards thinking pattern uh, find the best next step for you to take to move you towards your vision? So you have your vision, and then you are where you are right now, and you work backwards. You could also change uh, your thinking perspective about a problem by asking, what if the problem had nothing to do with me personally? Or what if the problem did not affect me? What would I do then? And what if I saw this problem for a more, from a more optimistic or probably or maybe even a more pessimistic point of view? These questions help bring out a different perspective so you can think out of the box from you. The key is to shift your thinking from solely the logical side of thinking to also the more creative side and then forming a bridge between the two. Logic must be present for, for an idea to be accepted by our mind, but creativity must also be present to allow for innovation. Both must be present for out-of-the-box thinking. Brainstorming with other people is another way to force out-of-the-box thinking. The mind is then forced into producing new ideas where there are a set of rules to follow or a specific outcome that is needed. Also, you can read biographies about people who have thought outside the box. Their life stories can show you how thinking patterns can change by pure will. And if you are in, in the reading section now, then learning a new skill can also change the way you think. When I went to study mediation, after my whole career involves health, then this opened me up to new things that I never thought about before. It is great to be an expert in a certain field, but sometimes learning something new in a totally different field than your speciality can actually be very helpful, even to advance your own field of expertise. New insights lead to mental flexibility. Other fields of interest may face similar challenges that you are encountering in your field right now, but may have developed different ways of dealing with them. We are hardwired to do things automatically and unconsciously when we are doing things that are repetitive in nature so that we don't have to rethink doing them every single time and we don't have to pay attention to the small details. This makes thinking efficient, but it does not make it innovative. Overcoming our fear to look foolish or different will encourage spontaneous behavior. And when we free ourselves of constraints of the norm and of fear of seeming foolish through determination to do so, then we can open up our minds to new ways of solving our issues and advancing our lives. The key issue is that you do not need to be exceptionally smart to develop innovative ideas or to think out of the box. Anyone can do it if they allow and at the same time push their minds to become more creative and more open. When you do develop out-of-the-box thinking, with time your ideas and actions will change and they will take on a more creative and assertive path, enriching your own life and the lives of those around you. 
It does take some effort to think out of the box, but with practice, it will form your habitual thought patterns and conformity will be a thing of the past for you, allowing creativity and innovation to flow out, making your life richer and happier. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help push your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, how can I view my situation from a, a, a new and more creative perspective? And what if I was an outside ob observer of my situation instead of being an active participant? How would I do things differently? Think also of where you can get some inspiration from. Some people get inspiration from quotes. Some people get inspiration from art. Others from brainstorming in a mastermind with other people. And some need their solitude, letting their mind wander off. Think about what works best for you and follow through to develop out-of-the-box thinking. As usual, I recommend writing these questions and your answers in a notebook especially prepared for you that for these coaching sessions so that you can make sure that you are improving your life and moving it in the place that you and moving it forward to the place that you want to take it. So to finish off, the affirmation of the day is I look at all sides of things and I daydream and I allow my thoughts to wander to new creative heights. I look at all sides of things and I daydream and I allow my thoughts to wander to new creative heights. Now tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power to transform your life with repetition. So thank you very much for joining me here today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button to get notified every time I upload a new video. And please also visit the Gorilla Diet website for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.